Happy New Year everybody, Slamantham here and in this video I'm going to give you guys the 2017 gaming moments so we can share a little bit and reminisce on the good times that we all had for this crazy year. The 2017 has been a big year for this channel and I know I say that every year but it really is. It just keeps getting better and better. Like I thought I peaked in 2016 and it went getting better than this, but probably the biggest change of it all was making the switch from the Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Like that has completely changed my channel and everything. And I gotta thank my friends Hunter and Brendan for convincing me and nagging at me so much so that I finally gave in and, and bought into the idea of getting it. So here's to you guys. Thanks for making this year possible and all that. So without further ado, let's get into this. So I tried I tried finding a lot of thing a lot of content that really stood out this year and just not really as much stood out that was uh that was funny but it's just most of this stuff on the list that i have marked down was just kind of like big moments that happened on my channel but there are some funny moments that i did incorporate in there too for instance in gta 5 episode 161 that was Method in the Madness and Damien Run. So pretty much what happened in that video was we were doing Damien Run or whatever it's called. And we were supposed to deliver these bikes back to this collection zone. And we're supposed to get all four of the bikes and deliver them. And it's a two to four player mission or two and up. I don't know if it's four. That's the max, but anyway, we needed we needed at least two people to do the mission. So I had a lobby of four people going, and while we were playing the mission, I get on my bike, and I'm just cruising along the road, and as soon as I get to the bridge, just out of nowhere, my teammate just comes flying by, lagging at 100 miles an hour, and just knocks me upside the head, and I fall off my bike. And there was just no, there was just no hitting the ground. I literally died on impact and my body just splattered on the ground. But it was just one of those so sudden moments. I couldn't even think of anything to say. All I could say was just what the hell. So yeah, I would check that out. Cause that just, if you want something that just startles me, that will just startle you, then you can see for yourself. Because that completely caught me off guard, and that whole lobby was just laggy as hell anyway. Because there were NPCs that were driving by and weren't even like paying attention. They were just kind of like teleporting all over the map and everything, and I couldn't really do anything about it. So that was that. And then in the next episode, GTA 5 episode 162, that was, that was luck by the hands of God. Or, I mean, that was just grace by the hands of God right there. Like, the fact that I was able to complete that mission on that run through was, a, was just a miracle. There's no way I should have lived. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, there's a contact mission called Landing Gear. It's the infamous four-player contact mission where you have what used to be you had to take a Titan and deliver it to the collection zone at the uh, docks. It changed to take the uh, planes, like kind of the uh, flaunt, just kind of the solo planes, and uh, deliver them to the docks. And so you didn't have to do one. It had to be two or as many as you can that are available so as I'm flying so as I'm picking off the guards before I take the planes out of the hangar 
Um, I hop inside the blue plane and I start going, but my wheels don't pick up in time, so I end up crashing into a vehicle. And as I'm backing up, I know, as I back up, I notice that, hey, my uh, tires, or my, uh, my propeller is on, like my plane is on fire. Like the front of it was, so I panicked, got into a buzzard and flew off. But then I realized that the plane wasn't exploded yet, so I came back and tried the best I could to salvage my efforts. So I got inside the plane, and after about 15 seconds of waiting, the plane finally started picking up speed. And then I waited until I came flying over a hill, and then barely, just barely, I was able to lift off the ground and gain enough speed where I was able to fly through the air. And just that whole time I was flying in that blue plane, which I then named Old Blue, it was a miracle. Like, I was literally, like, having to pray in my mind that that plane was not going to fail on me. Because it looked like I was just leaking fuel. There was black smoke everywhere, and there was, like, fire coming out of the plane and all that. And I made it to the collection zone and beat the mission. That was just one of those very intense moments that I was just surprised that I was able to accomplish that mission under the given circumstances I was in. In GTA 5 episode 164, that was my goodbye episode for the Xbox 360 where I finally said goodbye to the old generation and said hello to the new gen. And that and through the Xbox 360, I developed a persona for my guy called a Merry Man, where he was kind of decorated in a red, white, and blue attire and all that. Which now I have in the uh, next gen version, except it's V2. It's an updated version of him. And I think he's much better. He's stronger than he ever was. But, um, yeah, that was my goodbye video where I sent my character off and gave way to my new character in GTA 5 on the Xbox One version, Derek Frost. So that was kind of a, or no, no, no. I said goodbye to Derek Frost. My new character is Dallas Frost. So he's supposed to be the son of Derek. My guy is much more good looking too. So that was kind of a bittersweet moment. And ever since then, I haven't been back to the 360 version to play around because I know the graphics would look awful and I wouldn't know where I'm going. So yeah, there were some growing pains with getting the Xbox One. Of course, I had to learn how to use it and figure out all of its features and all that but more than that I had to figure out I had to figure out what I was going to do for a headset because the one I currently have is the Xbox 360 headset but I went online and read about this headset adapter that you can plug in so I went to Best Buy got that and plugged it into my controller and next thing I know, after I connect the headset to it, is that my audio quality improves. I'm speaking much, much clearer and deeper than I did on the 360 version. And then not long after that, towards the end of my freshman year of college, I came into my first crisis of 2017 my iPod officially died where I could no longer upload videos from it so I had to develop a new way of I had to search for a new way to upload videos so the first idea I had was using my phone but that didn't quite work out as as I hope it would So, 
after I after I got home, I started reading into new capture methods, like ways I could utilize the DVR on the Xbox One to send videos to YouTube. Because after I learned about the DVR and all of its features, I would thought to myself, wow, this would be amazing if only there was a way I could utilize this to upload videos to YouTube. It, through the power of editing and so what. So I heard about this, I heard about this app that I could use on, on the Xbox One called uh, Upload Studio. So when I, so I posted a test video, just mainly uploading clips to see how it would all work. And sure enough, the clips worked and I was able to do it, a voiceover and all that. And I downloaded the YouTube app and it gave me the option to upload videos to YouTube. So that gave way to the new future for gaming on my YouTube channel, which is what I'm currently using today. Even though sometimes it kind of bugs out on me, uh, that's what I use. But YouTube is currently being a jackass because Google decided to get rid of the upload feature on the Xbox One. So now what I have to do to uh, upload videos is I have to upload whatever I create on the upload studio to my OneDrive and then I have to save the file from my OneDrive onto my phone, and then I have to go into the YouTube app on my phone and then upload it there, which is just a pain in the ass. I wish it wouldn't have to be that way, but you know, Microsoft can be a pain in the ass sometimes. So of course, all the people that play on the PlayStation get pampered with all these cool features, but yet we don't get that on here. So here's to you, Microsoft, for for not stealing some of Sony's ideas. And then fast forward a little bit to GTA 5 episode 190. I believe that was one where I was doing a stunt video and maybe the transform stunts. But yeah, the reason why I singled this episode out is because at the time I considered it perfect editing because I had an intro and an outro to the video and it was just a series of night of uh of nice uh, um, edits and all that and I just thought the video turned out very well it got me a few clicks which was pretty nice but not as much as I would have hoped it would and then not long after that, the Upload Studio developed a, a new uh, developed a new way to capture videos. Where like instead of uploading videos in 720p, you can now upload videos in 1080p. Now, if I have all the time and patience in the world, I will upload my videos in 1080p. But recently, I've just decided to stick with the 720p just because. It doesn't take as long and it doesn't hold as much memory and all that. And why waste my time doing 1020 or 1080p if it's barely even going to make a difference on people's screens? As long as it's HD, that's fine. But if I can get that crystal clear footage and I have all the time in the world, then so be it. That's what I'll do. And another thing that kind of took a shot right in the stomach for me, which I just had to say to myself, like, seriously, was for all this time when I was uploading videos to my channel, I always thought that um, I had to keep videos within 15 minutes, but that was because my channel wasn't verified. So what I had to do was just go into, like, the Creator Studio, click on, like, account settings and there was a there was a setting that said eligibility and I looked at said verification and said you may now upload videos longer than 15 minutes so all I had to do is just verify my account with my email and everything and 
look at that. Now I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. That's why some of my... Uh, that's why my upload studio clips and my uh, backyard baseball and guitar hero clips were longer than 15 minutes. If I had known about that freaking years ago, I would have done that so that way I could upload content and not have to worry about the ramifications that would come after that. Which means I would have had a lot more time to do whatever I want. The thing that kind of sucks about Upload Studio, though, is that you can only upload video, or you can only render videos that are up to 30 minutes, which is fine because my videos usually don't last longer than that. But um, yeah, if I do stuff where, where it's just, if I do stuff where that's just uh, kind of extensive and doesn't really require the DVR, then my videos may exceed 30 minutes if it's something worth watching. So, after that, to my channel came across another landmark, which is important in the series of GTA 5 Let's Plays because I finally reached episode 200, which deserved a big celebration, and I spent time thinking in my head for like two months, like, what am I going to do for episode 200? I got to make this bigger than before, and I couldn't think of anything. As much as I thought, I couldn't think of anything until like a few days before I filmed the video. So what I eventually decided on was to do Motor Wars, but I would have like a two minute intro to the video where it'd be me using a kind of like the director mode or film mode or whatever on GTA 5 so I compiled a series of clips of me just driving around and walking around and shooting and and I called that my little preview to the video so I figured that was a good way to close another successful 100 years, or 100 years, 100 episodes of GTA 5. So yeah, with, so with the DVR method, I'm now, I now have the option to expand my ideas and think more creatively as to what I'm going to do for future videos. And one way that I've expressed that this year is through my music videos because now I can upload videos without having to do it all in one take. I can compile a series of segments together and lay over music to make it fit kind of like an actual music video, which is pretty nice because I've done that with with um, songs like Remember the Name by Fort Minor. I use Black Ops 1, the uh, campaign, and just compi comprise a series of a uh, clips from the campaign to do it. So, what are my plans for 2018? Well, I'm glad I asked myself that question. Because what I'm promising to you guys for the year of 2018 is a is a best moments compilation. Now, what am I talking about? What is this you're talking about, Andrew? Well, if you're if you would like me to explain, let me tell you what it is. I'm going to be saving clips from like I'm going to hit the record that feature on my Xbox and I'm going to be saving clips from s certain moments in gaming history where something funny has happened and I'm going to layer them together in the funny moments video that I will then that I will then showcase to you at the end of the year for 2018. Sound good? That's what my plan is. And I'm very excited about that because that's going to be huge and probably the biggest project I've done so far on my channel. So it's good that I'm still thinking of new creative ideas. 
Um, who knows if I'll get any views, but it's all that matters is that I'm getting somewhat enjoyment out of this because I don't care about subscribers, like how many subscribers I may get. To me, what it's all about is having fun with doing this. I mean, YouTubers don't come on to, I mean, I hope YouTubers don't join YouTube just for the views and the likes and comments and all that. I hope they come to YouTube because they want to express themselves, to show who they are and what they're capable of. Because that's my goal. And, and we also reached another record in 2017 for this channel because I stumbled across 30 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Although it's currently 29 because every now and then I gain a subscriber and lose a couple, gain a few and then lose a couple. It's kind of like a hit or miss thing, but right now I currently have 30 subscribers on my channel. But although there's all of these cool things that have happened in 2017, one moment that stands out from the rest of them that I am actually very stoked about was the completion of the Origins Easter Egg. It finally happened. I remember that day. It was me, Brendan, Hunter, and uh, crap, what is his name? Oh god, I feel so dumb not even remembering his name. Jake. Yeah, Jake. He was there. He was one of... Um, he was a random that my friend Hunter knew from another Easter egg. But we all teamed up together in Black Ops 2. And we finally took down the Origins Easter egg. So, thank god. Three... What was that? Like three years? No. F almost four years later... I finally got that... No, that is four... <laughs> yeah, almost four years later, after that map came out, I finally got that Easter egg done. Like, we were so ec ecstat ecstatic. Like, we were just jumping up and down, like, screaming, because that was just... That was just a big win in our books. We were so, so, so happy to finally get that done after so long. I mean, we had some, we had some struggles along the way, but we knocked that out early in the summer. And I thought it was going to take all summer just to beat it, but after a series of fails and some close encounters, we finally got that done. And I was, I couldn't have been any happier in that moment. And Black Ops Three, yeah, I got Black Ops Three, and I actually love that game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I was playing on the map Skyjacked, and you know how you can do the wall run? Well, I accidentally jetpacked myself outside the map, and I was running alongside the uh, the boat, like the sky boat, and then I ended up jumping back into the map at the last second. Like, I had barely any fuel left, but it was just one of those clutch wall runs that you've got to see. Like, I was surprised I even survived that. And yeah. Of course, I told you that Google killed the upload feature in Xbox One YouTube app, so that was a bummer. And then, my last moment from 2017, and I'm sure there's other stuff I'm leaving out too, but the last one that I could think of was currently in, like, very recently in GTA 5 Episode 206, that was, that was, uh, Diamonds Are For Trevor, that mission. I got hit by a car, and I have no idea where the hell that came from. It just happened so sudden. Like, one moment I was propped against the wall, and the next moment I was like, what the hell hit me? Yeah, I was just... I was just laying days on the floor with my gun in my face, and I was thinking, what the fuck? Because it just scared me. It happened out of nowhere. It was just so sudden. Like, those moments where just something sudden happens is what really makes the... is really what makes this YouTube um, career so funny and 
exciting. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for 2017. I'm looking forward to 2018. I can't wait to see what kind of records we'll break and what kind of moments we'll share. But I hope you guys enjoyed the venture because I sure enjoyed it too. So happy new year and I will see you guys in 2018. Drive safely, be safe, and I can't wait to share many more moments to come with you. Thanks for watching. See ya.